Dear students, in this lecture we shall learn about the benefits of using the total differential when it comes to the analysis of a utility function. Let us see how we can apply the total differentials to our utility function. In this case we have taken an example, certain utility function that you can see is dependent upon two goods that is x1 and x2 or is specific form jo hai wo ax1 plus bx2 hai. Aap dekh sakte hain ki there are two independent variables that determine the level of utility. So is liye total differential ki zarurat padegi. Yahan par hum partial differential use nahi kar sakte because you know partial is used jo juzvi taur pe hum analysis karte hain for example ek variable ke lihaz se while keeping the other variable constant. So is tarike se there is a need for applying the total differentials. Humne iske liye ek formula ko develop kiya hai differential of this utility function which is based upon two independent variables that is x1 and x2 it will be equal to the sum of the differentials with respect to x1 and with respect to x2 multiplied with the derivative of the utility function with respect to x1 and with respect to x2 so now we have this formula which we can use to get to the value of the total differential so initially we need to know the value of u1 and then u2. These are the two values that if we can find, we can get to the result of the total differential. Because dx1 is not going to bother us much, nor the value of dx2. So let us find out u1 in the first place. Sabse pehle humne iska x1 ke lihaz se derivative calculate kiya, which is partial derivative. Because hum is case mein x2 ko constant rakhte hain. You can do this calculation, this easy calculation and verify if the answer is truly small a. And now we have this u2 which can be found in a similar fashion and that is to take the partial derivative with respect to x2 which we have done here or uska jawab hamare paas b aya hai. So now we have the values of u1 and u2 and now we can put these values back into this formula taake hamare paas Deriv uh, total differential ki value aa sake. So, aapne dekha humne u1 ki aur u2 ki values ko substitute kiya and we were successfully able to find out the value of the total differential. Now, we'll consider another case here to do the same thing and see ke total differential kaise hamari madad kar sakta hai when it comes to the analysis of a utility function. As you can see now the function has become slightly complex because it can there cube term bhi hai, iske andar square term bhi hai aur dono variables ka product bhi hai. Total differential, however, the formula will remain the same. Wo vaise ka vaise formula hai. Hume, in the same way, we will need u1 and u2, jo ke humne by taking the derivative with respect to x1 initially and then x2, humne un values ko find out kar liya hai. And the next step definitely should be to substitute the values here u1 and u2. So we get the final result. That is the total differential of the utility function. For the sake of rehearsal, you can also solve this commonly observed utility function, which is quite similar to Cobb-Douglas function. Ke, because you understand that the Cobb-Douglas function is in this form. We talk about its utility form. If we assume that it is 1, then we have this form. Utility function develop ho jayega because a k 1 ko multiply karne se there will be no effect and the variables will be left in this way. The formula is definitely the same because total differential ek mathematical formula hai which will not change no matter how the values will change of the economic variables. And now you can guess already ke u1 or u2 humne find out karne or plug in karne hai into the formula and by simplifying we will get u1, u2 in this way. You can verify this by doing it yourself and see if the answer is truly what we have found here. Or uske baad in values ko hum substitute karenge and then we will get the final value of the total differential of the utility function. That actually tells us that there are two contributors into the utility. Ek wo x1 hai aur dusra jo contributor hai wo hai x2. Aur humne total differential calculate kiya jis mein dono partial contributions ko humne add karke 
टोटल चेंज को कैलकुलेट करने की कोशिश